We are pleased to announce the MyWoosh Championship starting on April 28th to the 5th of May. The MyWoosh Championship is open to men and women worldwide and will be a category-based race spread across eight days with seven stages, with the men racing for 70 kilometers each day and the women for 50. There will be four categories with each category having their own start times. With that said, let's jump into the registration procedure. It is important to note that the registration will close on the 17th of April. So step one is going to be to read the technical guide and the rule set fully. This is extremely important as there's a lot of details in there that you don't want to miss. Step two is going to be the online registration through our website. All participants will be required to register for the event on the events page of our website. First thing you'll want to do is register and fill out all the details such as your current FTP, phone number, and if you wish to ride as a solo or a team. Riders must use devices, smart trainers, and power meters that meet the minimal technical requirements of MyWoosh. For this event, two additional rider classifications will be introduced into the MyWoosh Championship. Youth classification for riders aged below 23 years, and the master's classification for riders aged 50 and above. Anyone who meets the age requirement and wishes to fall under the youth slash master's classification will be required to submit a copy of their passport or their national ID. Step three is gonna be filling out the pre-verification form. Please note that it is crucial to fill out the pre-verification form no more than 48 hours and at least 12 hours before you start your FTP test. Click on the pre-verification form and fill out all the required fields as well as sharing the necessary videos. This includes uploading an unlisted weigh-in video, height video, equipment video, your Strava link, among other very important details. It is crucial that you input all the details correctly, so please spend the time and be as thorough as possible. The accepted protocol for weigh-in and height videos can be found in the MyWoosh rule set. Make sure to read the technical guide and the rule set thoroughly before proceeding. Once your pre-verification form is set, next you can go on to step four, which is gonna be the FTP test. To be eligible for selection to the race, every participant who registers for the event must perform the FTP test on the MyWoosh platform. The FTP test must be completed by the 17th of April. Next, let's show you how to access the FTP test. It is important to note that the pre-verification form and your registration form are fully completed before taking the FTP test. Some other important notes are, make sure that your weight and height in your MyWish profile match the weight and height in your videos. All participants must be connected to primary and secondary power source. So that means that your smart bike or your smart trainer is connected in game as the main power source and your crank or pedal based power meter is connected as a secondary source. Failure to connect any of these will result in rejection. Once you've selected a sustainable route, tap on workouts and scroll down to testing. Once inside testing, go ahead and select FTP test MyWoosh. Next, all you'll do is tap on workout and the test will get underway. This test will take you approximately one hour and 15 minutes to complete. Please ensure to complete the entire test as only completed tests will be taken into consideration. It is compulsory that all riders upload their FTP test activity to the MyWoosh application upon ending their FTP test. This is done by selecting the MyWoosh icon and tapping on upload. Please remember to rename your activity as MWC FTP Dash test. Do kindly note that all participants must use the same equipment they use for the FTP test in the MyWoosh Championship races if they are selected as a final participant. Let's move on to the selection process. A total of 260 players, 130 men and 130 women will be selected to participate in the MyWoosh Championship from all the registered participants. Selection will be based on several factors such as, but not limited to, performance on the FTP test, number of entries, category suitability, and previous MyWoosh history. MyWoosh will email the final selected 260 participants for additional verification by the 20th of April. Selected riders will then need to submit videos completing a short verification test before their entry is confirmed. Participants will be provided a link to form teams and must notify us of their teams before the 24th of April. The final start list of fellow competitors, assigned categories, and team members would be shared with every participant no less than three days prior to the race start. All team members should belong to the same category. A team must have a minimum of three and a maximum of five racers for each stage to be eligible for teams. Prizes. Once a team has been formed, the team leader must send an email to events at mywoosh.com with the team's name and team member names with their team members CC'd in the same email. The email subject should read MWCTF, the gender, and then the category number. For example, if you're a female writing for a category 2 team, your email subject would be MWCTF F dash cat two. All selected participants will need to submit a second weigh-in video that is no more than 24 hours prior to the start of the race and no less than 12 hours prior to the start. You'll also need to fill out the pre-verification form a second time. Now this is just a brief summary of some of the things that you can find in the technical guidebook and the MyRoosh rule set and we very much encourage you to read both of those things. So that's a wrap on this short tutorial. We very much encourage you to read the technical guide and the MyRoosh rule set before getting started. Remember registration closes on April 17th so don't take too much time and from all of us here at MyRoosh we wish you the best of luck.